Would you like to make $100 per day? Well, watch this video to the very end, and I'm going to show you how to do just that. What's going on, Wolves? Eric Ellis Jr. here, back at again with another fire-ass piece of content. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five different websites that you can use to make $100 per day. Isn't that cool? Now let's get right into the content. And before we do, my number one recommendation to make money online will be the first thing in the description. And number two, hit that subscribers button and hit that notifications bell to join the family. Now, number one, um, you guys maybe have heard me say this before, but guys, uh, Fiverr, Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com is basically a website that you can leverage any skill that you have, right? Are you a great graphic designer? Are you a great writer? Are you somebody who knows how to do copywriting, email marketing? Um, do you know how to do advertising? Do you know how to create websites? It doesn't matter. Basically, Fiverr is the middleman to people who have skill sets in comparison to people who would love to pay for those skill sets. An example is my YouTube thumbnails. Do you think I spend time creating my YouTube thumbnails when somebody else could do that for me and save me a bunch of time, right? So instead of being the person actually paying for the services, use Fiverr.com and you can be the one who actually gets paid for a specific service, right? So you go to Fiverr, you create an account. Once you create an account with Fiverr, you're literally gonna go ahead and put post a job, right? And you can literally put whatever price, right? So all you have to do is find a way to post a job that'll enable you to be able to make $100 per day. An example, if you go ahead and create websites, that's literally $300, right? If it takes you an average of three days to create a website, you could literally be making $100 per day. And if you pay more than that, let's say $1,000 to create a website, boom, you could be making two to $300 per day. Boom, that simple. Number two, textbroker.com. What te textbroker.com is simply for if you like to write. If you like to write, content, there's ways that you can actually leverage um, uh, leverage textbook, right? Again, the middleman, uh, the power of the internet, textbroker.com will literally allow you to write articles for people and they're trusted by big name brands like Staples and everything along those lines to where you can literally write articles. I hate writing, so I would happily hire somebody to actually write articles for me if I had a blog or things along those, those lines, right? And if you'd like to write, go to textbroker.com create an account, right? It's gonna give you a score as soon as you create an account. And depending on your score and how good of a writer you are, the much higher you are, you can easily make a ridiculous amount of money fairly quickly, right? But you have to get a really good rating. So make sure you go ahead and uh, do your best to actually creating great articles, right? Number three is Shopify.com. Now, do you have your own brand that you have been thinking about creating, right? Um, what you can do is you can actually create your own brand on Shopify uh, and start start selling your products, right? Your clothes. You can sell either clothes or you can sell physical products. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's e-commerce. It's physical products, right? And it's pretty cool. If you don't have your own product, right, you can do something called drop shipping. It's very simple. It's something to where you uh, find um, items online. Let's just say if you were to use like AliExpress and you were to find these cheap items, but they have a demand in the marketplace, meaning people want to buy them, right? You simply go ahead and create a nice little uh, website on Shopify. You put the items within that specific niche on your shop, and you find a way to get people to your actual website, like Instagram influencer ads, Facebook ads, everything of that nature. Right? You can do a little bit more research on Shopify and drop shipping. But what's going to happen is when people actually make a purchase, right? Even if you don't own the item, you can simply go ahead and find somebody else to source the item, ship it directly to that person. And if you sell it for $50, right, but you bought it for $5, you get to keep 15, rinse and repeat, right? So Shopify, get crazy with it, have fun with it, figure out if that's something that you wanna do, and dive balls deep. Number four is Upwork. So Upwork is kinda like Fiverr, but it's more so for ongoing work, right? Meaning if you wanted to go ahead and uh, be a freelance writer but not doing one-off projects, and you wanted to do it for a long period of time for like a, a company, or if you wanted to go ahead and be somebody's uh, virtual assistant, right? One of my friends is uh, making six figures as a virtual assistant to where she created a firm and she actually has hired virtual assistants for her to where she pulls on clients. They pay her anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 per month. You imagine if you get four clients at $8,000 or excuse me, $2,000 per month, right? That's literally $8,000 a month. That's six figures, right? You could easily make $100 per day 
with Upwork, you simply just have to have a skill set, number one, right? And go on Upwork, see what type of skill sets you need. And then number two is you need to go ahead and find clients. That's where Upwork comes in. They find the clients for you who are actually searching for the service that you provide. Number five is ClickBank. ClickBank.com is simply an affiliate network where you can go ahead and literally find products that you can promote within a specific niche. What's pretty awesome is you simply just go ahead and pick a product, pick a niche, recommend those products to people. The best way is to figure out how to drive traffic to these offers, right? And get people to click that link. And for each sale you generate, you're going to go ahead and get paid a commission. So what's pretty cool is that majority of digital products. So with digital products, they have higher profit margins, so they can pay you pretty high commissions. They literally pay upwards of 75% commissions on ClickBank. So if you go ahead and find a product on ClickBank that's literally 40% commission and it's a $500 product, that's $200 per sale. All you have to do is get one of those every two days and boom, you're at $100 per day, right? So with that being said, pick one that works best for you. If you kind of want to recap and say, okay, which one is best for me? Guys, it's a six minute video. Go back, figure out which one is more appealing to you and go after it. And I want you to go ahead and commit to taking action on one of these. Guys, nine to fives are dead. Working for somebody is dead. Point blank period. Who wants to work for somebody all their lives? Um, and if you're not happy with what you're doing, seek elsewhere, right? Find something else that you can do to bring you fulfillment. Making money online is the solution that allows you to live a life of time, location, and financial freedom. I'm currently in Europe. Right? You can travel the world. You can work from coffee places. You can work from your home. Right? You can spend more time with your friends, with your family. Choose one of these, commit to it, take action, get results, and thank me later. If you guys want to know my number one recommendation to make money online, it'll be the first link in the description. Join the family. I appreciate you, Wolves. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell. And as always, Eric Ellis Jr. checking out. Gucci gang, 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 What's going on fam? Eric Ellis here back at it again with another fire ass video. In this video, we're going to go ahead and teach you how to make $100 per day without making any YouTube videos. Now, first and foremost, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need to understand the concept that I've been using uh, to basically build my own life by design. Currently here in the penthouse in Miami, Florida, right? And what I used to actually build my income up and to be able to uh, live life on my terms is something called affiliate marketing, right? Now, affiliate marketing is super simple. All you are is the professional middleman. Basically, there's a person who has a problem, right? There's a person who has created a product to solve that problem. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and be the person, the connector, right? To actually put those people together. And when you put those people together, every time a transaction is made, you're going to go ahead and get paid a commission. Now, where do you actually find these products? What I would recommend is going on to something called ClickBank, right? ClickBank is an affiliate marketing platform where you can find people called vendors, right? Now, what a vendor is, is somebody who has taken the time aside to create the actual product, who has all the, the back-end processes like the uh, customer service and things along those lines. You don't have to worry all, uh, about all of that. All you have to do is literally step behind that as an affiliate. What they're gonna do is give you a unique affiliate link, and when you get access to that affiliate link, you're gonna be able to actually promote that as a product. Now, the, the question is, how are we gonna go ahead and actually get people to that product, right? And how are we gonna go ahead and get people to that product to actually buy that product on YouTube without making any videos, right? Now, there's two ways people make money on YouTube. Number one is they make it through Google AdSense, which we're not talking about because that's publishing content. And then what YouTube does is they pay you a little small piece of pie because that traffic is worth so much but they pay you a little bit, right? For people to actually run ads on your content. 
Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run ads on other people's content, but we're not actually going to go ahead and use Google AdSense. We're going to go ahead and reach directly out to these YouTube influencers to actually promote our products. Now, this is how we're going to go ahead and do it. Basically, let's just say you go on ClickBank. I would highly recommend the top three niches, right? Health, wealth, and romance. First and foremost, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a ClickBank account. Once you create that ClickBank account, you're going to be able to go to the marketplace. Once you go to the marketplace, you can go to different categories of products that make sense to you. Now, I would highly recommend products within the health, wealth, and romance niche, right? The reason why, because those are evergreen and people will always have problems, that niche is, those niches are never going anywhere. So those categories, health, wealth, romance. So what I would do is basically find one of those categories, start searching through products, see how much commissions you guys can earn on those products. Once you see how much commissions you guys can earn, the next step is actually looking at the actual products and doing research on the products. You wanna make sure that these products are ethical. The thing is that, to keep it straightforward with you, almost anybody can put a product up on ClickBank. Number one, it doesn't mean that people are gonna to wanna to buy that product. Number two, it doesn't mean that they're actual, actually ethical, right? So I like to make sure they're ethical and I like to make sure that the sales materials they create are going to actually get people to buy that product. Now, the way you're gonna be able to do that is actually looking at the product sales page, right? All you have to do to do that is literally click the link at the top once you click the link at the top, you're gonna to go ahead and get access to the product sales page, right? You can watch it, see if it's persuasive. If it seems like you would buy it if you were interested in that product, then go ahead and step behind that product after you do your research and make sure it's ethical. Now, next step, we found the product. How do we get people to actually buy that product? What we're gonna do is I would recommend start searching keywords on YouTube like how to lose weight or how to lose weight fast or how to lose weight in one week if I was selling weight loss products. Or if I was trying to promote make money online products, I'm gonna go ahead and basically start typing in keywords that people would search if they were interested in the, the problem or solving that problem that my product is gonna solve. Meaning if somebody wanted to make money online, what are they gonna go to search in YouTube? How to make money online, how to make uh, money on YouTube, how to make money on Google, how to make money fast, whatever that looks like, how to make my first $10,000. You search those keywords and then influencers are gonna come up, right? Now an influencer is somebody who creates content around a specific subject and has built a following of people who know, like, and trust them. So the same thing within the romance niche, people who create content around people trying to attract the opposite sex, right? That's the problem. I'm gonna sell a product that's gonna solve that problem, but a lot of these influencers do not know how to monetize their following, right? So one way that you can tell them that they can monetize it is go to the about portion, the about section. Once you go to the about section, you're just gonna drop down and there should be a business email to where you can send business inquiries. Once you go ahead and click that business email, you're then gonna go ahead and reach out to that influencer and say, hey, listen, I see you've built an audience around this subject, weight loss, making money online, whatever that looks like, right? I have a product that I'd like you to do a review on. If you do a review, I'd be willing to pay you $50, $100, or whatever that looks like. Now guys, if this person has thousands of pop people following them and they do a product review on your product, Obviously, you, that's why it's important to go ahead and do research and actually look into the product and make sure it's ethical because they're gonna be promoting this to their audience. You don't want them to burn their audience so you get a bad rep, right? Do research, give them exactly what they need to actually review the product. Then what they're gonna do is they're gonna go ahead and do a review on the product, go ahead and give a call to action to click the link in the description and that link in the description is going to be your unique affiliate link. Now, there's two things that I would recommend. Number one, is instead of just using uh, the, the long ClickBank link or whatever affiliate product you're thinking of, go ahead and use a, uh, a, a link shortener. Literally go on Google and look at a link shortener. I use something called Bitly. You can use Bitly. Number two is I would highly recommend using um, a sales funnel, which is basically putting a, a little web page in front that captures emails. I use something called ClickFunnels. There's links down below that you can actually get access to the software that I use to build my, these little web pages. And basically what it does is it captures these leads, these emails 
for people to actually get access to your sales presentation. But what it allows you to do is actually follow up with those people on the back end, right? So you can start building a list or a following of people who know, like, and trust you, just like they have that YouTube following. You can start building an email list, same thing, a following is a following around a specific niche. You can start marketing to those people with your products, right? So that's what I want you to go ahead and do. I want you to go ahead and try that. Go on ClickBank, find a product. Once you go ahead and find a product, then you want to go ahead and, uh, or excuse me, find a niche, find a product, uh, do your research, make sure it's ethical, make sure it's profitable, make sure you can make some good money off of it. Then go ahead and start reaching out to influencers, business inquiries about business inquiries, then simply go ahead and ask them if they can do a product review. Now, some people's gonna reach out to one person and they're gonna be like, well, this doesn't work. Yes, it does work. It works only if you work it. These people are looking to make money. That's why they're building, that's why they're building a following, right? So that they're not just doing it for their health. Yes, they like people, but they eventually wanna start making money off of it. So obviously the bigger people's following, the more you're gonna have to spend, right? So I'm not gonna tell you the prices. Fell forward, reach out to these people, see what works the best. And if you guys want a little bit more advanced training on affiliate marketing, if you guys wanna actually learn how to build these web pages, if you wanna learn how to start building these email lists and start driving traffic to these landing pages or these little web pages, capturing those emails and learning how to do email marketing, learning what to say, how to market to these people. If you wanna learn like the advanced strategies that I've used to build my dream life, penthouse lifestyle, right? Go ahead and click the first link in the description or there's gonna be a button below if you're actually watching this on my email list and it will allow you to be able to apply for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you gain value from this video, go ahead and share it with a friend, but most importantly, smash that freaking like button, punch it in the freaking face because it does help. And number two, uh, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, your boy, Eric Ellis, checking out.